it is quite hard and difficult to believe that some men will actually complain to their ladies that their Jupiter is not in shape but as humans at times it's good to air your mind if you're a man watching please I would like to ask you how will you react if you realize that the Jupiter of your lady is not the way it used to be and if you're a lady watching I would like to ask you how will you do how will you react if you realize your Jupiter is not the way it used to be hello everyone thank you so much for joining us on this episode of our health discussion on today's episode we are going to continue with episode 2 of how to become a woman how to bring back your Jupiter how to bring back your Jerusalem so thank you so much for joining if you're joining for the very first time please click that right subscribe button and hit notification if you have been here before may God bless you please continue to ride with us so as we move on we're going to explain to you what you need to do remember in the first episode we actually did explain what it is by a loose Jupiter or a loose Jerusalem because we really explain that there is nothing as a loose Jupiter so on today's discussion we will be looking at how you can bring it to normal you know there are a lot of different stuff on the internet if you click on it but we are trying to give you the scientific part of it the medical part of it how you can regain your Jupiter so please write on with us as we move ahead so guys we are going to explain how you can actually strengthen your Jerusalem okay and this is a medical method they are going to explain here and we'll also give some lookout tips all right now we know there are a lot of stuff on the internet concerning this particular store how you can get these muscles of the Jerusalem bar but what we are going to give here is the medical view so if you have other knowledge concerning other stuff please please it's still okay all right but it is good that whatsoever thing you take it is always good that you talk with your doctor such that at least it can be approved because you all know um, this area is a sensitive area it's an area that needs some sort of care not just anything should get inside so thank you so so much so let us write on so how can you actually improve these muscles now pelvic exercises are a great way to strengthen your pelvic muscles we need to understand that these muscles are part of your core and help to support what your bladder your rectum your small intestine uterus when your pelvic floor muscles weaken from age or childbirth you may have the following so what can you have you may accidentally leak urine or pass wind all right you may feel constant need to pee you may have pain in your pelvic area you may experience pain during enjoyment although pelvic floor exercise can help treat mild urinary incontinence they aren't as beneficial for women who experience severe urinary leakage your doctor can help you develop an appropriate treatment plan that suits your need interesting in strengthening your pelvic floor here are some exercises you can try so you have seen here that all of what we're trying to explain we are trying to explain some of the signs and symptoms to show that you have an issue with your Jerusalem an issue with your Jupiter so if your Jupiter has an issue it has to do with these pelvic muscles so and some of the signs symptoms is that you may accidentally leak urine or pass wind you may feel constant need to pee you may have pain in your pelvic area you may experience pain when enjoying the act 
So these are some of the signs, the symptoms that you may feel when your Jupiter is somehow not in shape. But we are not saying that whenever you feel all of these things, it means that your Jupiter has a problem. But it is always important to check on these if you have some of these signs and symptoms. So what can you do? What can you do to help your Jupiter? So this is what you can do. So there is Kegel exercise. Kegel exercise is something that I'm sure a lot of ladies have heard about it. Uh, our sister who does fitness, Viana's Beauty, I know she can actually explain this also to a lot of women out there because most of her activities has to do with sport. So Kegel exercise. First, you need to identify your pelvic floor muscles. To do so, you need to try and see how you can stop midstream while you pee. Okay, you know, for ladies, when you go to the hospital and you are asked to bring urine for test, you realize your doctor or your health worker telling you that we want midstream urine, meaning you start peeing and you hold your urine in the middle and you bring out the one in the middle so you start peeing and then you hold it and put the one in the middle because at the end you allow the last one to flow so that is what is called midstream urine so if you can succeed you figured out the right muscles once you do follow these steps pick a position for your exercise yeah pick a position for your exercise most people prefer lying on their back for kegel, all right? So most people prefer lying on their back, their kegel. Tighten your pelvic floor muscles. How do you do that? Hold the contraction for five seconds. Relax for another five seconds. Like I said, these are all a medical method of bringing back your Jerusalem, bringing back your Jupiter. So you need to repeat these steps at least five times in a row. As you build up strength, increase the time to 10 seconds. Try not to tighten your thigh, your abs, or butt during kegels. Just focus on your pelvic floor. For the best result, practice three sets of kegel five to 10 times a day. You should see result within few weeks. All right. Another tip that you can use to correct your Jupiter is pelvic tit exercises. To strengthen your Jerusalem, to strengthen your Jupiter muscles using a pelvic tilt exercise. One, stand with your shoulders and butt against a wall. Keep both of your knees soft. Two, pull your belly button in towards your spine. When you do this, your back should flatten against the wall. Three, tighten your belly button for four seconds, then release. And four, do this 10 times for up to five times a day, you will see your result. The next thing, how you can use to improve your Jerusalem, improve your Jupiter, the next thing is to use what? Genital cones, okay? Yeah, use your Jerusalem cones. You can strengthen your pelvic floor muscles by using your Jerusalem cone. This is a weight tampon size object that you put in your Jerusalem and hold. You can shop this, okay? You can find this in shops and you'll get it. So to do this, you need to insert the lightest cones into your Jerusalem, squeeze your muscles, hold it in place for about 5-15 minutes twice a day. Increase 
the width of the cones you use as you become more successful in holding the cones in place in your genital. The next thing that you can do to improve your Jupiter is to use neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Like I said, these are all medical ways of you strengthening your Jerusalem, strengthening your Jupiter. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation can help strengthen your Jerusalem muscles by sending an electric current through your pelvic floor using a probe. The electrical stimulation will cause your pelvic floor muscles to contract and relax. You can use a home neuromuscular electrical stimulation unit or have your doctor perform the treatment. A typical session lasts 20 minutes. You should do this once every four days for a few weeks. You need to realize that we are explaining all of this because you can as well choose the options to use. So, you prefer any option? Use them. Okay. Now, with all of this said, a loose Jerusalem is a myth. Alright? A loose Jerusalem is a myth, meaning nothing exists like that. So, any lady, please stop using that word loose Jerusalem. Okay? A loose Jupiter is a myth. Age and childbirth can cause your Jupiter to slightly lose some of its elasticity naturally. But your Jerusalem muscles would stretch out permanently. In time, your Jerusalem will snap back to its original form. If you are concerned about changes to your Jupiter or Jerusalem, reach out to your doctor to discuss what's bothering you. They can help ease your concerns and advise you on what next to do. So you now understand exactly that it is not because maybe you just feel something, then you go and you start taking a lot of remedies. Always talk with your doctor and see how they can help you out. So thank you so, so much for following. May God bless you and please Keep safe out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check your health and maintain your wealth. And please make sure you try and do this medical part of how to strengthen your Jerusalem. Do not just assume that taking the other concoction is the best way. May God bless you. Do have a wonderful time. Thank you.